Is this thing on? Good. Fred, not humans. As I come in peace from a galaxy far, far away. Now, during this panel, you will be informed to the specifics of the Transformers Universal Discord, which is officially partnered with Discord, Transformers Amino, and much more. Without further ado, let the presentation begin. My fellow Decepticons, we are happy to be back at TFCon. The last time we spoke to you, we spoke to you about our Minecraft world, which we have been working on for many years. And today we're going to go over three different projects we'd like to share with you, the community. We're very thankful to be here, and let's get into what we're going to cover here today. Now, first, I'd like to thank everybody who helped put all of this together. We put it together pretty quick, so we hope you enjoy what we have to share. Now, without any hesitation, I'm going to explain what our plan is. So we are going to show you Transformers Quake 2. We're going to show you our VR chat projects. And again, we're going to touch on Minecraft, which was and still is an important part of our community. Now, there have been some exciting updates that I want to share with you as well. Our current user base is at 45,000 users across multiple platforms. We are now an official partner with the platform of Discord themselves, and we are very proud of that, and we're very happy Discord has helped us make a safe and fun place for people to enjoy and discuss Transformers. We are also very proud we have the Transformers Amino, which is the number three movie community with 21,000 users. We have a lot of things that we are happy and excited to share with you. So we're going to get right into. So this footage here that is on screen now is from Transformers Quake 2. Now this is a project that has been worked on for 20 years and is the collective work of many people. Alpha Prime, now the main frontman of this project, is working with us here at TFU to bring this project back to light. There is a huge selection of character models, upwards of even a hundred to choose from, and many skins. This can be a first or third person combat experience, and you can transform and fight in both robot and alternate mode making for an interesting mix of gameplay, with players often getting creative. If you're good like Alpha Prime, you will be able to pull some sneaky moves. Curse you, Alpha Prime. Curse you. There is many game modes right now, including Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch, and my personal favorite, Matrix Bearer. As we all know, that is my burden to bear. Now, in Matrix Bearer, you are a juggernaut, and the other players are coming for that Matrix, so you better watch your back. The best part is, um, when they team up on you, soon they betray each other, and that's when you can sneak back in and get that Matrix for yourself again. Now, as I was saying with this mod, this is all free. It comes at the cost of... Quake 2, which is often on sale for $1.50, and we thank Microsoft for allowing us to be able to mod here in the modding community. Now, in the different mods and game types, we have a map creator, and it is called Trench Broom. We actually have a video on how you can best operate this system on our YouTube channel, which is the Decepticon Empire. The person who made the video made the uh, entire thing look so easy that it made me want to play around. But really what I wanted to do was pose the models like they were having a battle so that I could see G1 Megatron uh, defeat Optimus Prime as, you know, he really should have. But um, as I was saying with this mod, there's just a lot you can do. The more you dive into it, the more multiplayer you play, the more campaign you play, you just see that there's so much time and detail and energy put into it. There's not only, like I said, 120 
models, but they're all characters from the original G1 cast, and a few Beast Wars snuck in there as well. The skins themselves are sometimes made for individuals who are on the team, or just a clever recoloring of one of your favorite characters. So I found that to be highly amusing to sneak around as a strangely colored Megatron, or find a weird Optimus Prime skin, and you know, make people think that that's not me, because I never would play as Optimus Prime. Because I am just honestly pretty terrible at PC gaming myself. But um, there are also a lot of different options for players to join. Even random players from the Quake 2 community can join without the mod. And I found that to be pretty interesting, as one time a man joined... <laughs> And he just laid waste to our entire lobby. All the people that I thought were good, you know, not so good, when uh, put up against this guy. And it was quite comical because they have a generic placeholder model for it. So, like, all these giant robots are getting beat up by this guy. Now, with the uh, intention of this is to bring this to your attention, we are hosting game nights for Transformers Quake 2. And these game nights are happening every week. Um, Sundays are the current date. As more people become involved, we may open up other days for people to play and enjoy this, this amazing add-on to the game. Now, one of the things that I do want to bring up here is we are looking for new people to assist Alpha Prime. So if you know somebody who's in the modding community or personally enjoys Quake 2, we have all the information on how you can join that in other videos such as the one on our channel the Decepticon Empire but we hope that you're able to come in here look at this enjoy the game enjoy the content more single player experiences will come and possibly even an open world but I will see you there in the game and let's move on to the next segment thank you Transformers Quake 2 team as you can see that was a lot of fun I really hope to see you guys in the game as well, and we have an entire team here ready in help and feedback or in the Transformers Quake 2 channel to help you understand and download the mod and set up everything you need to play. Now, um, as you've probably noticed, this is my VR chat avatar. I am using the Valve Index. Part of the technology that we use to create film videos and interact on a fun and community level. Now the next project that we're going to go over is exactly that, VR chat. So we're going to show you some footage from our different worlds and stuff like that. But I just wanted to take this time to talk about all of our artists and creators in our community. Now nobody's perfect and we've got people from all over from people who just started their art career to people who have been doing it a long time and we are happy to welcome and have all of them in our community we also have some decent writers as well obviously i am ignoring all their advice as i am ad-libbing this entire performance now going into some of the different parts of our community that I'd like to share with you and bring out is I mentioned briefly in the beginning our Transformers Amino. Now Transformers Amino has been something that we came into uh, right before the start of the last TFCon and we have grown since that time 8,000 users and it's an exciting part of our community that has a lot of great artists, a lot of great role players, and a lot of great writers. Now, if you're interested in joining that, there should be all the info either in the actual Discord itself or on the time card added in at the end of this video and also in the credits. So, part of my objective is to show you guys just how much stuff we're doing and we have a limited amount of time here. So, with the footage you're about to see from VR chat, many of these worlds took many hours to create and many sleepless nights. The avatars that were created, um, many of the models and stuff, um, the credits will all be on Discord or in VR chat itself. And we really hope that we can see you there and 
understand that VR chat is a platform that is free. It is a free way to enjoy Transformers in a fun and safe way, and it allows you to come in here and become your favorite characters. And I don't know what's better than being able to share our love of Transformers with you guys. Now, when you come onto our world, a few things you can expect is that you will see things from the movies and games, and I hope that as this footage starts to play, you're able to feel that you've gone into those environments, and this could be played on the actual VR headset, or you can actually play it on just your desktop PC in what's called desktop mode. This program is free for Steam, and we're just going to get straight into showing it off. All right, here you can see the city of Kaon from an overhead view. We're going to fly in now and just talk a little bit about um, the design of this and what the purpose and function was for VR chat. That uh, big dome up on the top, that's where you spawn up and you can actually pick up weapons that are from the game of Fall of Cybertron and then jump down into the streets and partake in glorious combat in the name of the Empire. Throughout the world you can see our logos um, abide from a distance here. Uh, but when we fly in, you're going to get to see different like Energon locations and uh, drop ships that are scattered throughout the world. There's a lot of fun things you can do to just get into the game and really immerse yourself. And that has been one of the big important parts for me is that all of these worlds are immersive in some way, but simple enough that most people's computer can run this, whether you do or do not have VR. Uh, they're having a shootout on the roof. The uh, Constructicons were kind enough to help me film this. And uh, as I watch them battle here in the street, uh, it is quite enjoyable, especially from a um, Transformers point of view. Now, um, one of the uh, things we wanted to get across with uh, both our map design is... That it can be fun, simple, enjoyable, right? And uh, still have, you know, some effort put into it. And, uh, oh, man, they're really going hard with that sniper. All right, and there's uh, Omega Supreme and Iacon. Now, uh, it looks like uh, Hook and Scavenger are just hanging out. And uh, that's one of my favorite things to do on VR Chat is um, try to immerse myself in the worlds or the different franchises that I enjoy, which was a big part of why um, when we saw the Netflix show, this uh, might bring back some memories here. So um, that was the intention behind Iacon and being a huge fan of the IDW comics, we wanted to put nods to that as well and, you know, have the Energon be flowing around throughout the city. So whether you want it to be the Golden Age or toss in a little bit of your imagination and have it be, you know, the peak of the war, whatever you want, that's what we wanted you to try to come in and be able to experience here in our server and also in our worlds themselves. Now, uh, the space bridge depiction in the newest Netflix show was one of my favorite parts. And um, as we fly over Iacon here, I think uh, Scrapper did a great job of capturing just kind of our own artistic take on such a uh, moment. Is that Bio Caesar? Oh, yeah, it is. What's up, Bio? All right, anyway, back to uh, what I was saying. Yeah, now... Um, Throughout the world, we have uh, different characters posed, and it's cool to see them, um, you know, like in the streets of Cybertron. And we uh, did not try to scale it to 30 foot robots. We wanted it so that if you were on a normal sized avatar as well, you could come to this world and it not seem or feel ridiculous. So if people wanted to make smaller avatars to represent humans and things like that, that is actually all possible within VR. So if you create your own models and you're somebody who likes to RP or be involved in different servers and events and stuff like that, you can. Right now, uh, they are flying a dropship towards, um, I believe, Metroplex to receive the AllSpark. Let's see if they, they make it here. I am terrible at flying these ships, but 
I become a jet, not fly the jets. Um, now, uh, going into just a little bit more about um, what our mission on VR Chat is, is to create an immersive experience. And if you're able to support Hasbro and um, Forge the Fight and Transformers Earth Wars, I always say, you know, we have groups for those games and uh, we hope that you are you know, playing them and interacting with the official content that's out there now. As you can see here, there's just so much you can do to bring uh, honor to what Hasbro has done here and to Kara. And it's just a lot of fun to be able to see these things come to life. And even if you're not in VR, I've just seen a lot of people just be genuine, like genuinely excited. And that is the best part for me and the other creators in our group is that this is something that we want to share with you. Thank you, Constructicons and BioCaesar for that great footage of VR chat. I really hope you guys are able to join us and we'll see you in the game. Um, the next project we're going to go over is the Minecraft project. This time, we just have some pictures. We already have all four parts of our hour-long Minecraft panel from last year's TFCon available to watch. Um, this uh, time, we tried to do our best to cover all of our projects that we're working on. Now, let's get into TFCon. TFCon was a great place for us to meet and enjoy time with all of our friends. We met a lot of our friends for the very first time. We also met a lot of people there who were just a lot of fun to talk to, and it was great to see all of our members having fun and a good time. I believe last time we might have had 20-plus people total who were from our Discord there. This time it looks like it's going to be a much bigger turnout. The TFCon channel in our server is one of my favorites just because it has some of the great memories from the convention. And we would also like to offer TFCon to be the official Discord for them. As we are a partner with the application itself, we would be happy to host and help organize anything relating to the event. Now, without too much uh, side topics here, I want to talk a little bit about our Minecraft before we get right into it. Now the Minecraft world is primarily being focused on building at the moment. We were trying to get the full setup for our uh, player versus player and all that stuff done, but um, we actually decided and were able to expand our idea a lot better, and we have a game mode that we're working on that's very similar to Escalation in War and Fall of Cybertron. So that has been a huge part of um, our endeavor here in the Transformers Universal mod worked on by Markatron or Lord Tarn 7 in our community. Has just a lot of fun things like you saw at last year. You can transform, drive, fly, do all of that kind of interesting things and find different relics from Transformers. I'm going to give my voice a little bit of a rest and you guys will sit back, enjoy this slideshow, and just take a look at some of the great work our artists have done over the last year. One thing we talked about last year was the Lost Light and there is a great recreation of the Lost Light and we are still working on the interior. Let's see that slideshow. We covered a lot of stuff today, and again, we're very thankful for TFCon reaching out to us and giving us another opportunity to share our passion for creating fun and free Transformers content for you, the community. Now, there's also a few thank yous we want to add in here again before we go into this last segment here, but I wanted to thank Microsoft, who recently purchased and acquired Bethesda, which includes the rights to Quake 2, so... Thank you guys. Um, your policy for uh, using and editing assets has been very clear and that's something that 
we really appreciate that direct transparency and the support of our group, even though indirect. Um, the modding community and multiple other groups, I'm sure, appreciate that as well. Now, there's also uh, Halo, which um, is featured very lightly through this video. That's another Microsoft-owned franchise, and we are really looking forward to Halo Infinite. Our group actually started on Halo 2 and Fantasy Star Universe, the demo, where we just kind of changed our colors to look like Transformers and changed our usernames and called it a day. But um, for those of you who are in our Discord, you may notice the 7 at the end of a lot of our names. That is where that came from, was we were trying to be different than the other groups at the time who all had an acronym in front of their name. We tried to put our symbol of unity and uh, teamwork at the end of our name so that it wasn't as intrusive. Back to the thank yous, I'd like to thank the Transformers 2 Quake team for agreeing to work with us and I think we've had a great working relationship so far and it's been a lot of fun to get involved in another Transformers project and help them out and see that grow and um, just in general learn something new and the same thing to be said for VR chat we've met so many great creators and met so many new friends through these different projects that it feels kind of like um, the Minecraft project when we first started it where we just were always meeting and interacting with new people so having our group have a big focus on multi-platform uh, gaming from a Transformers perspective has been a lot of fun to be able to find all these new avenues to create content and then distribute it to you guys, the community. Now, there are several creators that I would like to thank, one of them being Drunk Jackie Art, who does a lot of our edits and cards, and there is Omega Supreme, who often does a lot of uh, last-minute or touch-up or build something from scratch type of work. There is Lord Scrapper 7, one of the major components of almost all of our VR chat worlds and avatars. There is Bio Caesar, who has created a tremendous amount of avatars for the community. And then there is Lord Onslaught 7, who has made our TFU hub world, which we've had many fun game nights, and you should definitely come join us for one of Lady Slipstream's events. Then there's so many staff members that I'd just like to thank them by team. There's the Transformers Universal staff team and the Transformers Amino. Thank you to everyone who's involved in all of our projects. And we're going to roll the credits here in a second. But if you ever have a question, you can always find us in help and feedback. Thank you so much for your support. We will see you in the community and in our events.